It's not shit. We're supposed to pour the condiments into the bowl already. What? That video inspired me, a teacher, to try instant noodles from around the world. I don't know if you're going to believe me or not, but according to the World Noodle Association, 290 million servings of instant noodles are eaten every single day. According to my notes, that converts to 106.4 billion servings of those instant noodles right there. That's why you didn't hear wrong, 106 billion noodles a year. Are you kidding me? What's so great about these noodles, you may ask? Well, they're easy to make, three minutes. They should taste delicious, we'll find out soon enough. And they're cheap. I think each one of these costs about a dollar or less, maybe a little more. I know this, Mr. Consistent, costs under 50 cents. So those are the pros, what are the cons? All right, well, what's the cons of these noodles? Well, the true killer is in the sodium content. Let's take a look at the back of one of these, and uh, you'll see sodium, 1,680 1, milligrams of sodium right there in the middle of the screen. 73% of your daily intake of salt on this one serving of soup. So, unfortunately, salt intake, not the best of sodium. The other thing, maybe a con, is uh, all those ingredients. Never good to see that many ingredients in some of those words. Not the best words you want to see. However, we're not eating this for the sodium content. We're eating it because it's hot meal, it tastes delicious, and you make it in about three minutes. Now we find ourselves in the kitchen, ready to go. Next stop, Noodle City. Finished product, here's bowl one, bowl two, bowl three, bowl four. All right, the noodles are done. Bowl number one is the hot and spicy, hot flavor. Let's try it out, I'm starving after all this. So it is nice and hot, bowl number one. It's looking good to me. Now the spoon, let's try some of the broth first. Oh, it tastes like, uh, it's really good. It tastes like it has just a bunch of Tabasco sauce or hot sauce in it. It's also really too hot. I'm gonna uncover the next one because it's too hot. Let's try some noodles. Yes, I could even do a little spicier. I like it, the hint of spice. I would call it a noodle bowl with a hint of spice. Yeah, I would buy this. I would buy this over the chicken right there. Chicken's what I always go to when I'm ready for ramen. That's why I made it to compare to these new bowls of noodles I've never tried. Yes, yes. Uh, I wish it was a little spicier, actually. I put it in my own hot sauce. If I put it in my own hot sauce, I give it a four out of five. It came with that first bowl, came with this sauce right there, hot and spicy sauce. Number two is the standard chicken. Here we go, chicken, new fork. I already know what this is going to taste like, but let's just make sure all of them cooked well. And then I could base this off the rest. But I would have given that five out of five if it was a little spicier. I had a hint of spice. I liked it. Maybe a four out of five. Now this is the one I put in my own bowl. The other one I like it comes in a bowl, but the other one, number one here, what we just tried, probably double the price. I mean, not that it's expensive. It's like a dollar, a dollar twenty, something like that. Chicken standard, that's better. So if that's a four out of five, I'm giving this one a three out of five. That is substantially better. If you threw your own hot sauce in that one, or I threw my own hot sauce in that one, I'd give it a full five out of five. It's really tasty, noodles are good. We got two more coming up. All right, time for number three. Number three came in the hard bowl. This is also spicy. I'm curious which one's spicier. Uh, try to get as close as I can on that one. The bowl here looks a similar to the first one we tried. The first and third are both the spicy meatballs. Or spicy meatballs. <laughs> They're both spicy noodles. I think even made by the same company, Nagashima, Nagashima, Nangshim. 
function. Yes, very hot. Let's take a look at some broth first. This one smells like it's gonna be spicier. Ooh, not spicier, but a different flavor. Whoa. So it definitely has, this was the packet that used, definitely has a different flavor. Wow, it is spicy, but it's also a flavor I'm not in love with. It is spicier than the other. So if you want spicy, but it has a, it's the smell too. Noodles aren't as nice as the first one, but this is by far spicier. I like the first one's flavor, but it wasn't enough. This is pungent flavor. That's spicy. There it is. Spicier than the other. So that's bowl three. Before I get too full, and before this thing cools down, I want to try bowl four. Now bowl four I'm interested in because it's the seafood brand. Or it's the spicy seafood. So I'm very curious. The noodles are also the fluffiest of the bunch. Um... You know, and let's take a look. This it had two different packets. It had a flake packet, and it had this this sauce. Little expert tip: if you want this to be a little healthier, only put half. I put full because I'm tasting the test, doing the taste test. But put half this packet, and you're gonna end up with half the sodium. It's gonna be half as good for you. Maybe not as flavorful, but still tastes delicious. Let's try it out. Here's the well for seafood. Sm smells like seafood. We're taking a small bit. We're taking some broth first. Well, I like seafood, but I don't know. Definitely tastes like seafood. Oily, you could, it's kind of oily, you know? Let's see. Okay, this one has the best noodle. This one definitely has the best noodle. It's not the best flavor, and it's subtle in the noodles, but I doubt you'll pick it up on camera, but that noodle's a little fluffier. This noodle bowl one would have been my second favorite noodle. Yeah, the chicken, the normal top ramen, definitely the loser. By far, all three of these, which are all about a dollar, where this one's only about 40 cents, give or take. All three are better. If I had to go for one, I might go for this one. I really like this noodle. Not in love with the broth flavor. On the noodle, it's subtle. No, on, on second taste, no. And this one's a little, I don't love the spice, but it is spicy. But it's an interesting type of flavor. So if I had to buy one of these again, I would buy bowl one and just put some extra spice. So this is bowl three. Bowl three was the spiciest, but I liked this spicy better. This flavor was better to me in bowl one, but it wasn't spicy enough. If I now put a little of my own hot sauce in here, I like the noodle better. I like the spice better. This would be my first pick, number one. And I might start going that way because I don't eat ramen all that often. And it's a definite upgrade from this bad boy right there. So that's it. Teacher Eats. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next one.